the next problem I'd like to do for you is problem 47. And problem 47 asks us to evaluate the limit as x goes to 9 of the square root of x minus 3 divided by x minus 9. And there are a couple ways of going about this problem and getting the right answer. But the strategy that I'm going to use is because we have this square root of x minus 3 on top, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by the conjugate of the top. Now notice a strategy I cannot use here is just plug in 9 for x. Because if I plug in 9 for x, I get uh, the square root of 9, which is 3 minus 3, so 0, over 9 minus 9, which is 0. 0 over 0, we know that that is not an answer for a limit problem. So we are going to multiply the top and bottom of this by the conjugate of the top. And the reason we want to multiply by the conjugate, which is the square root of x plus 3 divided by the square root of x plus 3, is because we really want to get rid of that square root of x on the top. And multiplying by the conjugate will allow us to get rid of all the square roots on the top. Okay, and that will be helpful to us. So after this multiplication, what do we have? So we've got the limit as x goes to 9 of, if I multiply through here, I get the square root of x times the square root of x, which is just x. I get the square root of x times 3, which is plus 3 square roots of x. I get minus 3 times the square root of x, which is minus 3 square root of x. And I get negative 3 times 3, which is negative 9. On the bottom, I still have an x minus 9. And I also now have a factor of square root of x plus 3. Okay, uh, you can see here I have a positive 3 square root x and I have a negative 3 square root x. And so those cancel. And on top, I'm just left with x minus 9, which is perfect. So let's rewrite. So I get the limit as x goes to 9. On top, now I just have x minus 9. On the bottom, I have x minus 9 times the square root of x plus 3. The x minus 9's now cancel. Then I'm left with the limit as x goes to 9 of 1 on top. And on the bottom, I have the square root of x plus 3. We've gotten rid of the major problem here. And the major problem was that I had uh, division by 0 up here with this x minus 9. The x minus 9 canceled. Now if I plug in 9, I do not get division by 0, so I can. And when I do, I get 1 over the square root of 9 plus 3. Of course, the square root of 9 is 3, so I just get 1 over 3 plus 3, or 1 sixth. So the limit as x goes to 9 of the square root of x minus 3 over x minus 9 ends up being 1 sixth.